I ran through this um, on my, I have a show in KPFK in LA. And I, today I went over numbers and it was like $857 billion for the 2023 war budget. 40 just went to, well, allegedly Ukraine, but of course Raytheon and Lockheed Martin. 40 billion. Before that was 13.6 billion. There was another 27.4 billion for some missile island chain missile complex to encircle China, right? I mean, I kept going on and on. Uh, uh, 85 billion, another 85 billion, that's for the CIA and military intelligence, right? And so I kept, and then when, when I got finished with the numbers, it was $1,275 trillion, almost $1.3 trillion. And then I went to some other numbers. It would cost $1.5 billion to fix the water problem in Flint, Michigan. $11 billion for school lunches that ends January 30th. Now we can't afford lunches for kids anymore. $11 billion. You know, and I went over some $20 billion to end homelessness. And I'm like, so what are we looking at? You know, we're looking at less than right around $30 billion to fix all this stuff. No money for it. But we've got one point two seven five trillion or whatever it is for all of these other things that do nothing to help us that we're buying f-35s at like 120 million each that don't even fly and maybe it's good they don't because we'd bomb somebody with them if they did speaking with garland nixon um i think it's very important that we get into a subject that is very relevant um we have been very adamant uh you know, we are progressive, but uh, I personally have a very hard libertarian lean, especially when it comes to our uh, spending, especially with the military. Um, the fact that Bernie and the squad rubber stamped the 40 billion in additional aid aid to Ukraine without even seeing what's in the bill. We all know, again, Lockheed Martin, Raytheon, Northrop Grumman, General Dynamics. We know who's getting this money. Will some of it maybe trickle towards aid? Yeah, maybe 5% if you're lucky. But this is a war machine. And I, I just don't understand how, on the one hand, these are not representatives who are controlled by corporate special interests and especially the military industrial complex, yet they go right along with it. They get outflanked every time by Rand Paul and Mike Lee, who on many issues are as to the right as you can get in the U.S. Senate. Yet for some reason, when it comes to civil liberties and war spending, they are always in the right place at the right time. And then, of course, I would think that the American public has been hoodwinked enough times where they can kind of see this happening and understand why it's happening. And yet they fall into the trap every single time. Yeah. Well, you know, and, and it's like this. At some point, you got to say it's not a trap that they're falling into. <laughs> you know what I mean? At some point, you got to say, look, these people aren't stupid. And what happens, I think, is having kind of worked around Capitol Hill, et cetera, they get in a bubble, number one. And number two, they become part of that machine. And let me tell you, it's a nice life. You got black cars taking you everywhere. You got people kissing your feet all day long. You've got an entourage wandering around and it becomes this really nice life. And all you got to do is kind of like in the life, we say certain things and then you become part of the tribe. And it's like, OK, we're going to have our caucus meeting. We're all voting for this because it's going to do that. And it becomes, you know, OK, we've all got to vote for this Ukraine money, blah, 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 blah. And even the leadership knows, you know, some of our people may be a little naive and we can use that against them. And we'll just tell them we got to do this because it's good and they won't look into it. You know, I looked through that and it was when you start looking through that Ukraine money, it's like. Fifty four billion, 54 million, I think, for the CDC. And you're like the CDC. And then it was like another one was 400 and some million for research and development for the Pentagon. Well, you know, that's going right into the hands of, you know, some contractors or whatever. But when you look at that, like you said, when you looked at that 40 billion, there was just chunks all over the place, just given the whoever the hell they wanted. You know, very, I mean, like one of them was for human trafficking, drug, DEA, drug stuff. I mean, just it was just a big $40 billion handout to whoever they wanted to give money to. 
it was it's ridiculous. But I think um, it, it, you know, it's like what we were talking about. You, you, you get this tribe, you get this club and everybody in the tribe is going to vote the same way and believe. And you play off the other side. Yes, we got to pass this 40 billion for Ukraine. You know, the Republicans don't want to get it through. Oh, my God, the Republicans don't want to get it through. Well, then we've got to get it through. If for no other reason than because the bad guys don't want to get it through. And that's where we are now. And so what you become is people who come in um, supposedly to change Washington. And, you know, the story and Washington changes them and they just become a part now. Unfortunately, I mean, I'd like to be a yay, the squad and yay, Bernie. Oh, I was the biggest Bernie fan in the world. You know, that's like a lot of things for me changed in 2016 because I was Bernie, Bernie, Bernie. And then when I saw that he got screwed, I got really pissed. Because I'm like, here's a guy that I like, and he's saying things that are in the best interest of people, and the whole system comes down on him to stop him, and it infuriated me. And um, But what we end up now is a system that's absorbed these people in a way that, you know, they're just part of the machine. They're just another spoke in the wheel. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.